Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Porto Braz, where it's going to take us a long while to integrate Norway. And when I do, I'm going to want a reasonable number of troops for. Now, they are Catholic, which is the correct religion. I do like how this war is almost entirely Catholic troops killing France, for France trying to remove a reformed nation from the map. No wonder the Sunnis are bringing us up all the way here. Then again, I've got a big Protestant ally, so... <laughs> I shouldn't complain too much about historical... Oh, sorry. Um, go going against your religious card that you should be playing. I'd love to just start eating up a lot of the little guys as well, but... I can't declare war at the minute, so... Let's instead plan for this war with Great Britain. Gold rush. Crap tons of money. I still appear to have the point, so... Let's go back to the building. You do cost... Like 75% more. But yeah, you're getting me more than 75% worth of the manpower, so I'm happy with that. I'm guessing the ones that are actually 37 must be the ones that I colonized myself, or uh, myself or Spain colonized. Okay, we run out of points. So that's good. That means I picked the right thing by spending more money. But I already have the largest army. I want a force limit is about two hundred. The next largest possible army is one hundred and fifty, and that's basically the Ottomans and France, and then a hundred for Austria. It would be good to end the game in a position where it would take the top three or four nations together to match our army. If that's sort of, that's sort of the position I would like to be in. So like of the top five, we was 50% of the troops. I would love for this num these numbers here to be exportable into like a TSC, um, a spreadsheet file basically. I would love at any point in time to be able to click a button and save that data to a spreadsheet. Because, right, there's lots of things where people say they could play around with this for all the other and figure stuff out, and I'm like, yeah. But it's too much to accept that this window would be able to do it. You know, it sorts, it's fine. Yeah, I can do this, that is brilliant. That's more than enough for the game. Anything else, you know, it would really be a third-party program you'd want to be doing it in. So, instead of, like, them trying to build all the functionality that a third-party program would be able to do, you know, like me saying, well, my force limit wants to be at least a tenth of the entire world's force limit. Which, to be completely honest, I don't think we'd see. Look at all the mercs hired. Actually, the Oriat have the largest... Or, or rat, actually have the largest um, manpower pool at the moment. Most artillery, me. Most cavalry, me. Most infantry, Ottomans. Expected, but mine, I think, once they regen, are going to be larger again. Because total, we're bigger. But my composition is quite heavy on... Well, for a Western nation, I'd say heavy on cavalry and... Wait for him to arrive and then start killing this. Four, two, four. Yeah, that's fine. We can leave you there then. You're all moving here. You're still waiting for your pickup. That's three and one. So that's hopefully what we're going to see missing. Finland is trying to improve relations with us. That's nice. You guys have arrived. You want the leader. Go keep, kill these sodding rebels now.
Yep, you guys are just getting into position nicely scattered across the Empire. Diplomats arrived home, so what we want to be looking at is Munster. Okay, we got down to minus seven, and we've basically taken on another plus ten. Oh, our Diplo reps actually got to zero. That's where the extra stuff's come from. I don't know if um, their opinion of me is actually matters, other than the 190 I'd need to you know, do it in the first place. I don't want to do anything until we've got the uh, improved relations capped out, because the others are all like, you know, a guaranteed thing that we'd get, you know, an amount. So it'd slow it down if we was to do it any other way. Okay, looted. You poop, move, poop, move, poop, move. Now that didn't actually do it like I was saying as I was clicking it, but it does mean I can do that. And that should be every province covered. It is rising. It's from Colony. Do I actually have a colonist available? No, I've got all four of them out. Brilliant. It's not actually enough to siege. You poop a second and come back there. And that should be everything colonized. At least it's going to stop the progression to them trying to leave my country. Oh, yeah, over there. Yeah, not going to be able to do anything about them. Go away for now. We can build in provinces. Up here that I was working towards. Yep. Cancel you out for now. Dispute successions. None of them that are really interesting. Truce is expiring. I've only got to 78. I got a five year truce. I'm happy with that. They might even still be in the war. We sustain casualties. We're reinforcing two months. We're paying an extra 10 for it. Loans are coming due. Actually paying. Some of them back might have been a better idea without money. Didn't realise we had the loans. Troops in foreign territory, South Georgia and Falklands, were being dealt with. Provincial unrest, quite high, but we're going to kill them. Rebel uprisings, almost guaranteed. Is it worth boosting up to level 1? Are we not paying that much more? Still waiting on being able to call them, but that's because we don't have them occupied. That should be all of you being sieged now. Yeah, good. Loot is expiring. Good, good, good. You picked up a first of them, so that's one less people in foreign territory. Create a new unit. One of you, two of you. One, one, five. You're meant to be coming here. I feel like I have too many cannon down there. First of you has been sieged. Does that mean I can call you? It does, good. Increase autonomy. Nope, I want to decrease it. Decreasing autonomy would have no effect since it is of a minimum value. It is not, is it 75? Oh, because it's a colony, yeah. Oh, bollocks, that is. Hey, yep, you're dealing with that. You're going to deal with the next one as well.
you've already landed on troops, and that's the... Oh, no, wait, there is another. That's a 12 stack, so let's bring you and you. You might even help out with that, actually, which isn't what you was intended for, but... That means you're not at a full stack. And we don't have any more up here, so you need 3,000 units. That's fine. Two cannons and a calf. All of you are correctly compositioned. So whatever we don't have correctly compositioned down here, we'll figure it out. We're nowhere near the force limit, so we can just let it recoup. Now gaining close to three grand a month. Um, while I remember, let's repay a loan. We are making money, aren't we? Yeah, good. <laughs> uh, army maintenance, we're actually going to cut in half. We can do tech. Really? Diplotech again? Didn't I just take Diplotech? And we're still getting a minus 20% neighbor bonus, so... I guess we might as well. Oh crap, no, we might not as well, because we're trying to integrate somebody, which costs points a month. Annexing Norway, zero. I'm curious, did I just kill the progress on that? I mean, I'm pretty sure we're gaining. Like, a monthly increase of seven. Norway minus one. I'm hoping we'll do more than minus one at a time. More rebels here. That's into a 13 stack. I'm pretty sure 30 stacks should be able to stomp around there quite nicely. So I, I, I think we might need to move away from the 10 stacks that we have at the moment. Waves of immigration. Brilliant. More population. Following self-sustaining. Even excellenter. Now... That's... We'll be blocking you in. Can't go there yet. Or there. Hmm. Seven months and seven points. We might as well get you going. Wait. You're a full on colony. Why can't I send you? Oh, he's not home yet. It's only a one base tax. We go up here, try and protect these. Mohawk natives from the evil English. That's something I thought I'd be saying. <laughs> you guys. That are here. Right, you're all there. Why couldn't I tell you to merge? Create a new unit. Ditch you, ditch you, pull you out of the way. That's one cannon, one horse, one cannon, one, yeah, so you definitely are going to need some reinforcements, but it's fine. We're making good money and it's only going up. We lost? Well, that's not nice. We've got 18 going to deal with it. Some of the recruitment camps are starting to come in. A siege is over. You don't need to be called, do you? Nope, that's fine then. And that general turning up is going to take that minus 50 to a minus 28. So these actually might be competitive in a race now. Bullcrap, did you just manage to defend them? I guess you are in the mountains.
Okay, bring some more down. Don't really have troops. We might lose some sieges here. Uh, they might have also trickled in. I didn't really have proper control over them. I didn't have a general. So you must have a brilliant general. No idea, to be honest. Let's let all them merge up and then we'll attack. I have no morale. Oh. That was a problem, guys. <laughs> I was sending them in with no morale. Kiss inversion is successful. Brilliant. Does that mean I have another one that doesn't? And I actually want to be saving up my money to pay off some loans for the time being. I don't want to take out more loans. I don't like the idea of the loans. But definitely loans are more valuable in this game or more useful in this game than they were in EU3, though. EU3, you know, loans just meant you were going to die. <laughs> In this game, you can take loans in a way which... I guess the minting slider was the equivalent in EU3. But in general, it was... You just didn't. And you didn't want to mint. You wanted to mint as little as possible because minting caused inflation. You're fine. Go. We could build. Amory, 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 Amory. Gain to call province. Good. That should be over extension down a little wickle bit. And any of you able to be done? That actually cost me any over extension? No. And I'm avoiding the others because it is not necessary. At the moment, it's just not. I don't really have admin points. So are you going any quicker now, Norway? Can you give me a prediction on how long this is going to take, please? Uh, just how long you've been doing it. September 1738. Uses one power each month. The base is one, same religion is plus one. Diplomatic reputation is minus one. Could really do with a diplo rep guy. Um, but there's no I can do to try and get one. Are there any policies which... Give me diplo rep that I can use. No, I don't know I can see. Right. EU for wiki policies. The diplo rep. That right, was 50 things of diplo. Maybe I should look at such for reputation instead. Um, reputation. Right, so... If I had innovative and diplomatic ideas... I have neither of them. <laughs> if I had Aracus, Aracus, aristocrats and exploration, I do have exploration. So if I was to go with my next one, aristocratic, I would be able to gain a diplomat and one diplomatic reputation. Diplo and expansion. Diplo does lead into another one as well, so... And is there any Diplo reps straight up in you? Two, yes. Yeah, so I think we're going to be going diplomatic. If we can ever get there. I'll see you when we get there, if we ever get there. 
Uh, diplomatic and quantity. So actually, diplomatic would unlock two possibilities for me. Uh, diplomatic and offensive. Diplomatic and innovative. Oh, we're back round at the start. Yeah. Basically, diplo rep. Go down the diplo idea. Crap tons of trading fields. There we go. Let's wait a month and I'll check to see. You guys merge up. New unit. Eight. Four. Eight. Select you. Bring you over here. The reason I'm moving more of them over there, despite the fact it's a smaller area to patrol, is purely... Because I can? Uh, no, <laughs> it's purely because that's the more likely place for a war. Yeah, you only go at one a day a month is quite bad. <laughs> that's seven months been. I mean, the Diplo ideas are getting me another plus two. Would, you know, take that time down by a third. It's generally Diplo rep. Munster is too te technologically advanced. I've fallen that far behind, you now consider me backwards and you won't. But apart from that, there's only one reason why not. So this is what we really need. When am I going to get you? 74. August. Need to be focusing down the tech a little bit. You guys. Merge up. 50 stack is actually a little bit large. Do that. Take a leader. You should have to take less attrition that way. Truce is expiring. Not really with anyone that I'm that bothered about at the minute. Sorry, a bit of a yawn while I was going through that. That's not good. Colony self-sustaining. Excellent. So that means you are going to keep working up and around these guys. Block them in. I'll try to anyway. <laughs> I'm giving you, you know, one guy to try and block in somebody who has a lot more. Rebellion successful. Really? Down there? Oh, I guess because you got into a fight. Yeah, but it's fine. You. Spread out on what do you need. Three, one, and two. Three, one, and... Two. That should be all my army is getting up to a new one. could be helped with them. An arsenal in Rio de Janeiro. It's late for the month to tick. Colony self sustaining. Excellent. Let's just see where that one was. Your colony you shouldn't show it anymore. And let's. Okay, then. You. Just quickly go there so I remember. You might as well stand there while you're, you're dicking around doing nothing. That's South America pretty much secure. Two little bits down here. We've got all the interiors, mine are the natives. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube, that is all the time that we have for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>